welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about Pollination study yields new clues to genetic causes of high cholesterol. The discovery of a genetic variant that is relatively common among people of Polynesian ancestry but in most other populations is giving clues to the genetic underpinnings of high cholesterol in all people according to new research led by University of Pittsburgh School of Public Health geneticist in partnership with several other groups including the University of Otago and the Samoan Health Research Community. The surprising finding published this week in the journal Human Genetics and Genomics Advances demonstrates the importance of ensuring diversity in genetic databases. High cholesterol is a major cause of disease burden in countries of all income levels, is a risk factor for heart disease and stroke, and is estimated to cause 2.6 million deaths annually worldwide, according to the WHO. Carlson and her team built their study to explore a signal that propped up in a large genome-wide survey looking for genes associated with lipids or fats in the body. It suggested that a gene variant on chromosome 5 could be associated with cholesterol. The team set out to fine map the region using genetic data from 2,851 Samoan adults from the Obesity, Lifestyle and Genetic Adaptation study group who had also provided health information including lipid panels. To double-check the finding, the team looked for the association in more than 3,000 other Polynesian people from Samoa, American Samoa and Aotearoa, New Zealand and the same connection between the variant and cholesterol was seen in them. Using data from the Western Polynesian Samoan participants, the team was able to fill in the missing information around the region they were interested in on chromosome 5. This led them to BTNL9, a gene that directs the production of the BTNL9 protein. Proteins typically signal to cells to perform actions, though scientists still haven't characterized the precise role of the BTNL9 protein. It turned out that Polynesian people with low levels of HDL or good cholesterol and high levels of triglycerides had a stop gain variant in BTNL9, which means the gene was being directed to stop doing its protein-producing job, a strong hint that the BTNL9 protein is involved in helping cells maintain healthy cholesterol levels. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.